Hi there and welcome to this short webinar on design technology as an option for your GCSEs. What is design and technology and why choose to study it? I want you to consider a world without design and technology, what it might be like, and to consider that everything in the man-made world has been designed from the furniture you are sitting on, to the computers you are using, the cars in the street and the clothes you are wearing. The course is amazing. It is really an awesome course where it blends together so many things that would help you in your futures and what industry is crying out for. It ties together problem solving skills, analysis, creativity, technical skills, CAD skills, drawing and practical skills. The way in which you design and create all into one fantastic GCSE, which gives you so many opportunities in the future. It's a balance between the academic, as it is a GCSE, but it's also trying, where possible, to include as many practical skills where we try to teach through doing lots of mini projects. You will try to blend function, performance, aesthetics, and material science of designing products. We want to learn while having fun, which hopefully I will be able to convince you that is what happens in DT. But it's also important to have purpose and to explain to you the importance of considering this for the benefit of your future in this rapidly changing world. The World Economic Forum suggests 65% entering primary school today will ultimately end up in completely new jobs that don't exist. In such a rapidly evolving employment, the ability to anticipate and prepare for future skill requirements Job content and the effect on employment is increasingly critical. We are entering the fourth industrial revolution, which will consider such things as augmented reality, advanced human machine interfaces, 3D printing, just to name a few. Have a look at the link and that I have provided separately as it will give you uh, more insight into what design technology uh, is like. Here are some skills that universities and employers are saying you will need in the future and DT will help give you those. For example, problem solving, creativity, teamwork and technical skills. The design economy is over, worth over 101.5 billion with 3.2 million jobs in a wide and expanding nature. And we'll talk a little bit more about that towards the end. So have a look at this link also that I posted on design technology. What will you be doing? DT is purposeful, fun, and you will develop more knowledge and skills than you did in Key Stage 3. For example, understanding user needs, learning about materials, designing including computer-aided design, analyzing products, learning how things work, evaluating your own and the work of others, analyzing products. In year 10, you will be taught about iterative design, the process, the designing and manufacture of product to solve problems you have identified. Alongside this, you will expand your knowledge of not only your specialist area, but also smart materials, human factors, ways of working with and combining different materials and properties of materials, to name a few. We are a very well equipped department, one of the best in the areas in terms of space and equipment with both traditional and modern equipment. We have some of the latest technology available that is used in industry. For example, large laser cutter, 3D printers, and industry standard CAD. And this is all available to you at home as well. The course is 50-50 where there is also an exam and the other half is a non-exam assessment or coursework. And this NEA is the real strength of the course in my opinion where you get to design and make a project. So I'll give you an example. A student was looking at developing countries and learned that there was a real problem in trying to keep medicines cool while being delivered. 
He designed a container with an inner and outer layer, and in the cavity there was sand filled with water. As this water evaporates, it has a cooling effect inside containers, and this keeps the medicines cool. A great project that really helps society. What will my lessons look like? You will de have design lessons in, compu in computer aided design and manufacture lessons. You will have practical lessons. Learning how to make a product is really important. You will use traditional hand tools, large machine tools, and modern CAD CAM tools, such as laser cutters and 3D printers. You will have theory lessons as well to prepare for the exam. And the theory work for d and is important to help you pass your exam and show your ability to apply what you know. The theory also helps demonstrate wider understanding of the world and how we can make a positive difference. As I mentioned, it's 50-50. And it's important to work on our coursework. And we'll do this by developing your drawing skills as a way of communicating. However, we're not doing art. And we will use simple tricks to build your freehand sketching skills. We'll develop CAD skills from going from 2D to 3D models and work on your development skills through modeling and designing prototypes. The practical skills, the iterative design and making products with a wide range of skills from processing to 3D printing. So it's 50-50 coursework and an exam. The NEA starts in June year 10 up until February year 11. And we then revise for your exam theory with an exam usually around May, year 11. The NEA coursework, you will work independently creating your own product. But you will have use of a series of detailed guides to guide you through every page and every step and all resources available in Google Classrooms. We have an excellent theory structure program throughout and you will have great resources to help you understand, learn and remember the theory and help you revise including knowledge organizers for all topics. And how will I be assessed? Have a look at the structure of this. You'll have a written paper consisting of a two hour exam and this is 50% as I said of your exam. Three sections, section A core technical principles worth 20 marks, section B specialist technical principles 30 marks and section C designing and making principles worth 50 marks. The other half then is your NEA and that is a project that takes up to about 35 hours of work. And this will be a substantial design and make task where you would identify your own possible projects. So where could this take you? The UK creative industries, as mentioned, is worth over one and a half, one, one, 101.5 billion to the UK economy. You can go on to A-level, college courses, vocational courses, apprenticeships, like two students last year who are completing an apprenticeship with BMW. And we are really lucky to have some great contacts. Some of these range of careers include architecture, engineering, industrial design, set design, CAD construction, furniture, just to name a few. There's a whole range of degrees. And lastly, I want to leave you with this page. I want you to look at what graduates do having completed a university course or a graduate degree. And these show percentage employments. So what it's saying is people who get a degree in certain fields 
will have a very high percentage in employment. So for instance, design, you can see there at the top at 83% and 82% employment. This is taken from the government website. Whereas some people come out with degrees in other subjects and they can be a percentage chance of employment of only 40 or 50%. So looking at the many opportunities, you want to have as many of these as possible. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you in design technology.